about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Babe, you have to shift your weight back and then hit your, ride your back brake. I'm riding my back brake, right? oh. you to shimmy. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to die? <laughs> shimmy down here. <laughs> Can we get through the first sentence? As you can see by our three minute montage that we have been fortunate enough to travel around this great country and meet a ton of wonderful people. That's right. We have had a great time. We've experienced so many new places and locations and just experiences in general. It's been amazing. But <laughs> after two years and almost 68,000 subscribers, we can't do it anymore. That's right. We're done. We cannot even think about doing it anymore. Yeah, we've got to make some changes. So what we're trying to say is our community has grown so huge, we just cannot keep up anymore. <laughs> yeah, and we're by, by no stretch of the imagination are we complaining. We absolutely love it. However, spending four to five hours each morning answering comments, questions, yeah. emails, um, you name it. It adds up. So what we're saying is we're not abandoning you, but we do want to have a central location for all our social media. Yeah, we're going to consolidate, if you will. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. We're going to have one main platform. So we're not going to run away from Instagram or Facebook. We are still going to be there, but our presence will not be as large there. So if you want to give us a question or pose a question to us or a private message, the place to go for that is going to be our village. Yeah, I want to 
inject here that we are not going away from YouTube, okay? Oh, We no. said our main deal was our village. That's where we're going to, you know, kind of be hanging out a little bit. But YouTube comments, we still will we'll get to them. However, yeah. there's going to be some caveats to that one. Do tell. So within the first 24 to 48 hours of a YouTube video release, we will try and answer and and read every single comment. But after the 48 hour mark, we will do our best, but we cannot make promises. So yeah. if I have the option of going on a zip line or answering comments on a video that's been out for six months, I'm going zip lining. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And I know you would as well. <laughs> yes, you would. So we're going to work on finding a balance with both. Yeah. And you know, in the beginning, I, I said to myself, self, <laughs> if they're commenting, if they're taking the time to watch and provide some sort of support, I'm going to answer. Well, I've had another conversation with myself. There's only so many hours <laughs> yeah. in the day. Yeah. That's the conversation. And, and myself is tired. So. <laughs> so I guess you're wondering why are we migrating mainly toward our village? There are many reasons why we love our village over Facebook and Instagram. We're just going to give you a couple of highlights about why our village will be better for us and you guys as, as a part of our community. The first thing we really like about our village is it's RVing all the time. It is strictly RVing about RVers. So happy faces, beautiful rigs, beautiful campsites. That's what you're seeing on our village. Another great feature about our village is there are no algorithms. Meaning if I post something, you all will see it. And if you post something, everyone will see it as well. So there's, there's no hiding or missing something. We all see it at the same time. That's right. So you're not just seeing 20% of what's posted like you see in a group in Facebook. Now, another thing I really like about our village is they are their own watchdog. So one thing you guys don't realize about Facebook is if you put a comment on our Facebook page, it doesn't just show up on our page. It shows up somewhere in the background and then it notifies me and I have to go through several different steps to find it. Then I have to read it and then I have to, of course, I'll comment back, but then I have to approve it to go to our page. So that way I know there's nobody putting anything that goes against our comment policy. If you post a question, question, <laughs> you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> If you post within our community in our village, whether it's a question or post a picture, it is going to show up immediately. And I am not going to worry about it because our village runs a tighter ship than we do. If you put anything hateful on there or anything mean, it is going to be gone in a flash. And I don't have to worry about if it's been sitting there for 12 hours <laughs> yeah. and I've missed it. So I am not worried at all. And a bonus is once you post that question, if I don't know how to answer it, there are a ton of people in our community who do. There is a wealth of RV knowledge and experience within our group and there's always somebody on there who's going to have an answer to your question. Yeah, spot on. And if you do comment on our page, it not only goes, it stays in our group or it's visible in our group, but it's on the Our Village homepage. That's right. So everybody that's in our village and there is, what, 250,000 people yeah. on our village? Yeah. Um, so at any one given time, your comments or your posts are all on the home feed our home page as well. Another good thing about the Our Village community is the participation. So you are going to get more people to respond to your comments and to help you in Our Village as opposed to Instagram or Facebook. And we really love that about our community. And as you know, because you are a part of our community, our community is very helpful. <laughs> it is. And a lot of times they're smarter than we are. Yeah. There are actually a couple of teenage boys hanging out right outside the camera at a pond. They're fishing and you know how sound carries across the water so Ain't no fishing like I was used to doing my grandpa wouldn't let me say a word fishing <laughs> the my crab grand... boy you're scaring the fish yeah. <laughs> all right next up about our village that we love are the meetups so before COVID came along there were meetups all over the country all the time by anyone who's a part of our village anybody can set up a, a group meetup so all you do is go in and click a few buttons open up a meetup and people come out of the woodwork and all these RVers come because they all have a common bond and they get to know each other. So just click a few buttons? A few buttons. I'm going to show you the buttons later. Okay. Right. And now that COVID is around and we're all sheltering in place and staying home and we can't come out of the closets, you can do it virtual now. So bring your computer into the closet yep. and you can have a virtual meetup and get to know people in your R Village community. Yeah. And we just did one a couple days ago and it was a hit. We loved it. Yeah, we had a great time. So we are planning to do more um, Zoom meetings within our R Village community. It was a lot of fun, minus our technical difficulties <laughs> yeah, with our Wi-Fi. 
Still working on that. We won't do another one until our Wi-Fi is fixed, which should be in a week or two. But if you want to catch us on a Zoom where you can actually talk directly with us, you know, face to face and ask us questions, make sure you join our village because that's where it's going to happen. Let's head over and do a quick walkthrough and I'm going to show you a couple features of our village. Before I walk you through a little piece of our village, I want to show you RV Masterclass. It is a new set of courses that have been set up by a couple of friends of ours and you guys have got to check it out. If you've been looking for any any kind of information on RVing, on finances, on just so many topics, this is where you need to go. You can find a lot of courses by several different authors here on RV Masterclass. And the great thing is they'll be adding more all the time. So you can find authors like Let's Junk More Journey, RV Love, Chicory's Travels, and you've just got to go check them out. I will include a link below for the RV Masterclass so you guys can check that out when you have time. In the meantime, let's dive into our village. I'm going to quickly show you how to create an account and then just show you a couple things on our village so you're familiar with it when you go to log on. When you use the links down below, this is the screen that you're going to come to when you go to sign up for our village. See, the first thing you're going to do is click who are you? Are you an individual? individual, a couple, are you a business? So go ahead and click that. Now for my screen name, I'm going to use our village test 20 and then punch in my email address, which is also going to be our village test 20 at gmail.com. All right. So now we are going to join for free. We're going to go down here and confirm our email address and create a password. Now other is how did you hear about us? You can put a friend and then the friend's name of course would be you, me, and the RV. And then you're going to hit the agree button and we are now going to join for free. So the first thing you're going to do when you log in is you're going to tell your new RV Village community where you are. So I'm at an RV park in Castroville as you guys all already know. And then we don't know how long we're going to be here so I'm just going to guess until the 18th and then we are going to update. So that's going to tell our village where you are and that's how you grow your community. So now we are on the main page or the home screen of our village. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the right side so you can work on your account. If you go to the circle, the drop down box where you can set up all your information about you. Go down to edit my profile. So we're going to click on that. And then here's where you're going to set up your own personal R Village account. So we can start with account, hit that tab first, and this is going to be your email. Um, if you want to add your personalized um, web address, you can do that. Next we'll go to edit about me, and this is where you are going to let everyone know who you are. You can start by saying your RV status, so I'm a full timer and I am 50 so I'll hit that so here you're gonna want to describe yourself and your family whoever you're RVing with so I can say we are full-time RVers who who have been on the road for two years um, we travel with gizmo and whatever else you want to add to tell people about you and who you are. So current travel plans, you know, you can put, we are planning to hit all the national parks in the country or we're, you know, whatever your plans are for travel. And then here you can actually select clubs or groups that you want to join. So of course you're going to make sure that you, me, and the RV is checked. But if you see anything else here you would like to join, now is a great place to do that. And then you can add a mission statement your current mission and then any interest you want to add so for us of course we'll put cocktails and let's see hiking live music just whatever you want to click so that way when someone comes to your profile they can learn more about you any other interests you want to add your RV experience and of course keep on going all the way down and fill all these in now before you leave here make sure you hit save changes and then we're going to go to the next box. Now this box is what you're going to use for your profile picture. So you're going to hit choose file and then find a picture on your computer to upload. So next finally of course when you upload your picture make sure you hit save photo and then finally you're going to click my rig and this is going to describe the RV you travel in. Again the goal of this is just to help people get to know you a little better. 
So after you put your type of rig, then you will hit choose file and upload a picture of you and your rig or just your rig. And again, when you're finished, make sure you hit save changes and then your profile will be complete. And this is the perfect way for other people in our village to get to know you. All right, next I'm gonna take you back to the home page. So we're gonna click home and then I'm gonna take you down the left-hand side of your home screen. And you can see here, so there's over 263,000 R villagers on this platform. And then when you go down here, it says my group activity. Now when you join a club or a group, it's gonna show up here and you can easily click on your group. You can see our previous posts and then you can see posts other people have put on our page and um, what's going on within our personal community. So I'm gonna show you how to find groups. So if you go back up here to groups, you can find groups that you might wanna join. So everyone goes to the new Our Villagers group. It's a great place to start to get to know people and get to know our village. But there are also groups like Boondockers Welcome. You of, course, of course, you guys know we love Boondockers Welcome. So if you click on a group that you are interested in joining, then all you have to do is click this button here to join group. So I'm going to join this group. Yes, I want to join. And now I am a member of Boondockers Welcome and I can see all of the postings that happen within the group. So now let's go back to the groups tab and we're going to hit browse groups again. And you can see here on the left side, you can see groups I've joined. Now it's going to have you, me and the RV and it will have boondockers welcome. Now again, if we go back to the top right hand corner, I just want to show you the bell. The bell is going to be any notifications that you receive. And then on the left, you see you will get um, your private messages. One other thing I wanna show you real quick is how to manage your notifications. Go back to the little circle here, which will eventually be your picture, and you're gonna come down to your notification settings. And then when you get to this screen, you'll see there's actually three tabs here. And in order to put your notification settings exactly like you want, make sure you click on all three. So let's start with general. And you can see currently all notifications are on. So this means notifications in the app, email, and the bell. So you decide what you want to be notified of. This goes down all the way to activity feed, badges, blogs, all of this in general. Now let's go to my groups and you can see this is separate. So you have notifications for Boondockers Welcome and you, me, and the RV. So you can turn off all the emails by unchecking them and the bells by unchecking them. Now when you get down to the you, me, and the RV section, make sure all your notifications stay on. That way you know when we're posting something. I'm just kidding. Leave the bell on. That way you'll see up here in the right hand corner. If we post something, you'll see it up there. Now the last one you're gonna wanna alter is gonna be arrivals. You can decide which notifications you wanna receive when somebody new shows up in your area. Now you'll see right here on the very top of your screen, this tells you where you are and when you are leaving it. And you wanna keep this updated as much as possible. And for us, if you're in our group, the reason we want you to keep it updated is so if we decide to do a meetup, we can go into the group and go here to the group map and we can look where we are and then within 100 miles, see who is around us and then decide if there are enough people in our group to have a meetup in that area. And I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see it. So all of these are only people within our, our village community. So that is very cool. So one other thing I'm gonna show you real quick is get togethers. Now I know we're not having any actual meetups right now because of COVID. So our village is putting together virtual meetups. So they're doing it through Zoom. So if you wanna join in and kind of start seeing faces and get to know people, this is a great way to, to do that. Now you'll see here, you can click upcoming get togethers and it's gonna show you any scheduled virtual get togethers that they're gonna be having. Now, once COVID clears up, these get togethers won't all be virtual. They'll be in specific locations. That is a great way to meet new people and expand your RV community. And that's really the whole point of our village is to create a community because it really will change the way you RV. It will change the way you look at RVing when you have an awesome community behind you. So jump on over to our village and join our ever-growing RV community. We'd love to meet you. <laughs> the link is below. Keep, the link is on. below. I keep forgetting. <laughs> All right. So jump on over to our village. Join our ever-growing community. We'd love to meet you. Stacy will provide the link below at the end of the video. Yay, you did it. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so next up, I want to talk about our Today is Someday shirts. No. Yes. Okay. For everyone who purchased the shirts, we want to see where you're at. What are you doing? Pull up those hashtags on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and right in our village, right on, in our community feed. Please yeah. post your pictures. Use the hashtag YMRV red if you if you have the red shirt yep. or YMRV someday we are starting to include them on our website we're including on our social medias yeah what I love so far about the pictures that we've seen is there's all different colors the important thing though is everybody's smiling so yes. that means you're happy with your purchase and, and you're love having that. great adventures yeah. I think that's the smile is that's what it's really about yeah. they're yeah. having a great time next up homes for our troops the donations that were made from the shirt sales to Homes for Our Troops has been a huge success. We are well over $6,000 and it just keeps growing daily. In fact, yesterday we got another contribution to the charity and it was an army veteran or an That's army right. retiree That's that right. donated. And, and just so you know, we have a donation now from every branch except the Space Force. Where's the yeah. Space Force? Do they really exist? Oh, well. Let us know if you're out there. Yeah, they kind of do. I think there's less than 100 of them. Oh, somewhere. well, I guess I'll forgive them. They're probably too busy to RV right now. Well, they're probably in Indoc trying to learn. Oh, how, yeah, yeah. You know, if you know. do donate, just send us a quick email or something saying, hey, this is so-and-so. I just donated 10 bucks. All right. I guess that's it. That's our update for now. Links below for our village and homes for our troops. And if you have any questions for us, our village all the way, baby. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you sharing some of your time with us. We all know how valuable time is. That's all we've talked about really this That's whole right. video. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We love all of you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. So that way you can come back to us easily. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. The right arm's getting better. Yes, you've seen it here, right here. And we are making plans to be on the road again, so hopefully we will see you on, on the, the road. road.